Thailand outlook. And welcome to another edition of Thailand Outlook, your Radio Thailand magazine, broadcasting every Monday to Friday from 6:45 onwards. I'm i t i p o n l a k a n t u a and I'm Nalin Tip k a s a s a m r i t Today we are focusing on the government flood plan, royally bestowed relief bags, and the completion of royal replicas. Starting off this edition of Thailand Outlook, heavy rains hit Bangkok from 11 p.m. last Friday to 6 a.m. this past Saturday, with additional downpours in the afternoon, causing floods in 55 spots throughout the capital. Bangkok Governor Police General Asawin Kwan Mung revealed that officials have managed to drain water from the affected areas and have also instructed all district directors to prepare precautionary measures in the event of further rainfall. Flooding on Friday night and over the weekend affected several locations throughout the capital. Districts with critical levels of precipitation include p r a n a k o n p r a s i j a l e n Bangkok Noi, Yanawa, Jom Thong, and r a c h a t e w i where rainwater volumes stood at 177 to 214 millimeters. After the incident, residents affected by severe rainfall were urged to contact the BMA's hotline at 1555 or via its line ID at BKK underscore best to request flood relief assistance or report on any more flood-related issues. Apart from Bangkok. The Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation has reported that nine provinces in the north were impacted by inundation. Heavy downpours have affected the provinces of b o b u r i k a m p a n g p e t s i n g b u r i a n g t h o n g Ayutthaya, n a k o n s w a n c h a i n a t t a and p i t i t Meanwhile, Tapsalao and h u i k u n g a o reservoirs, both located in the Taitani province, reportedly hit their full capacity, prompting authorities to discharge water. Water levels in s a k a k r a n g River also reached critical and have overflowed into nearby homes and public areas. Those affected by flooding are urged to contact the Department of Disaster Prevention and Mitigation Hotline, 1784. Again, 1784. For assistance, Thailand Outlook. Back for the second segment of our program tonight, His Majesty King Mahavachila l o n g k o n and Her Majesty Queen s i r i k i t of the Ninth Reign have graciously ordered relief bags to be delivered to flood-affected residents in the northern provinces. His Majesty the King expressed concerns for the general public in the northern region and ordered Privy Councillor p a l a k o n s w a n a r a t to deliver hundreds of royally bestowed relief bags to those affected by recent flooding. Meanwhile, Her Majesty the Queen Mother, in her capacity as the Thai Red Cross Society president, graciously ordered the Thai Red Cross Secretary General Pan w a n n a m e t i to represent Her Majesty in delivering royally bestowed relief bags and drinking water to flood-affected residents in Singburi, Ang Thong, and n a k o n s a w a n and has ordered the Director of the Relief and Community Health Bureau, Lieutenant General Dr. a m n a d Bali, to deliver relief bags and drinking water to those affected in l o b u r i Back now and on to our final topic for this evening. Many provinces nationwide have completed the construction of the replicas of the Royal Crematorium of His Majesty the late King Pumipon a d u n y a d e t In Bangkok, the Bangkok Metropolitan Administration, or BMA, recently announced the completion of all of its nine replicas of the Royal Crematorium, and will be ready for the people to place sandal flowers on October 26th. 
The nine replicas of the royal cremation are erected at Ducey Palace, O Office of the Government Lottery Bureau, Saran Lom Royal Garden, BMA Lan Khun Mueang Memorial Bridge, Tupatemi Sports Ground, Puttamonton, by Tech Bangna and King Mongkut Institute of Technology, Rat Grabang. In foreign countries, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has asked the royal Thai embassies, consulates, and Thai temples overseas to arrange 96 designated sites in 94 countries for the offering of sandalwood flowers by the people. The government has invited the public to take part in the sandalwood offering tradition at all designated venues across the country. Today, we hear more details. The government of Thailand would like to invite the general public to offer sandalwood flowers as final tributes to His Majesty the late King Bumibon Adulyade on the Royal Cremation Day on October the 26th, 2017. A total of 85 replicas of the Royal Crematorium have been constructed across the country for people to offer sandalwood flowers during the Royal Cremation Ceremony, starting at 9 a.m. For Bangkok and nearby provinces, the replicas are located at nine locations, including the Royal Plaza, the former headquarters of the Government Lottery Office, or GLO, Langkon Mueang in front of the Bangkok City Hall, the Rama the First Monument Area, and Nagarapuram Park near Wat Po. People can start offering sandalwood flowers at this venue at 1 p.m. As for Bangkok's neighboring provinces, Tupatimi Royal Air Force Sports Stadium in Patum Thani, north of Bangkok. The Bangkok International Trade and Exhibition Center, or Bitec, south of Bangkok. Budamonton in Nakhon Patom, west of Bangkok and King Mongkut's Institute of Technology Lat Krabang, east of Bangkok. People can also offer sandalwood flowers at 113 floral niches across Bangkok and another 50 floral niches in various temples. In addition, a total of 878 designated sites have been set up for people living outside Bangkok and people living overseas to take part in the sandalwood offering tradition. The government has prepared food, drinks, and first aid kits for people attending the Royal Cremation Ceremony nationwide. Checkpoints have been set up to maintain order and security in each area. For further information, please visit worldwideweb.kingrama9.th. Thank you all for listening to Thailand Outlook today. For our listeners at home, have a pleasant evening. And for those on the road, have a smooth journey home. We'll see you again tomorrow from 6.45 onward on Radio Thailand FM 88. Thank you and สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ Thailand Outlook 